Ugh. Car wash. To the car wash, fresh out. Fresh out the oil change straight to the car wash. Yep. North Carolina, Greensboro's done. Got my last cheer on for another year at least. Because I've had way too much sugar. We're going to West Virginia. So we're gonna go. There's nothing to do in West Virginia except gamble apparently. So we're gonna go do that. Because it's the halfway point to Ohio. It's exactly halfway. We're gonna drive for four hours. Make five thousand dollars at least when we get to the casino. Yep. What do you predict? Five thousand, ten thousand, ten thousand dollar profits ten. are predicted. Then we'll head to Ohio with our ten racks and we'll just We'll give JC a run for his money. <laughs> JC's already there. Is he? Yeah, he's already there, probably buying up shoes. Nice to get a haircut, a massage, and a blowout for 30 bucks. Yo. How much for the blowout and the facial? 25. 25. Natural blowout. Natural blowout. Hitting with the natural blowout for 30 bucks. And you get the smoke shot right next door. Get your Boost Mobile on. Get your benefits on. And join, and join the Coast Guard. You feel good. You come out that massage feeling like a fucking champ. Wake thing, up next know? Tuesday in the middle of the fucking ocean. Hey, I'm in the fucking ocean. I love the comment that Don Drew is the personification of Teddy's New York voice. <laughs> That's the best. First fucking rule of Air Maxes is you gotta love them until you're fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. This is exactly what we wanted to do. No, look, this is not the auto thing. Welcome. Please leave key fob in vehicle. Well, we're not doing that. I'm just gonna throw You're this in garbage the wrong out. Line. Well, I still want to throw this out, and I'll just tell this dude. Weird shit going. We just want to run it through ourselves real quick. You want the $4 ride through? Yeah, that sounds you fun. Do you want to dry it off, or you want to pull off wet, dog? I think we could dry it off. Do you want us to dry it off? Sure. Get to this casino. Yeah. Only another what two hours? Oh no, it has this isn't the halfway mark uh, yet. I wish. Come home from school after walking around in Air Maxes all day and you take yeah. your shoes off, you'd feel light as yeah, fuck. Yeah, like yeah. you would be like, ah, shoes off, time to relax. And now it doesn't even matter. Like yeah, when I, I leave slip my shoes on, on like all day. Yeah, when I slip on like, you know, those 3.0s or something, I just, it's super light. People are in denial, man. Yeah. I get it. If they don't like the look, I mean, I guess that's just personal preference. Some people don't. Yeah, but a lot of it is just residual. Like, a lot of it is just like, I've You're loved Jordan for like, so yeah. long. Like, yeah. you know, it like gets anchored in your brain. And until you like consciously, and society, like the social aspect of it. Shit, dog, if I fucking say one bad thing about Jordan, I get attacked. And I have a strong personality and a strong fucking, like, res thick skin. Like, you can say whatever the fuck you want. And if I say it, I get attacked. People feel the need to attack me. So can you imagine a kid in school who decides to be like, yeah, fuck Jordans? Like, yeah. kid gets his ass beat on the way home from school yeah. every day. You know what I mean? So Dude, it's no, a what's... total disconnect. When you went to your first day of school, if you were like, I don't like Jordan. Like back when we went to school, you got roasted. You know what I'm saying? Like if you weren't allowed to like even Patrick Ewing, motherfuckers have been like, what? Patrick? Until Shaq came along, it wasn't okay to like anybody else. Like yeah. it wasn't. Like there was nobody else to even like. They dropped that Shaq Fu album. Yeah, and then Shaq Fu came. <laughs> then motherfucking goddamn Shazam. Jordan. Those, did, those didn't come out when Space Jam came out. They came out years later. They never came out with the movie. So, Can't look it up. I don't have any fucking service. All right. Well. Either way, Jordans in general, when yeah. I liked them in high school, I still thought they were funny looking big ass shoes, yeah, you know? Yeah. That's what was cool, so I was like, fuck it, I'll put yeah, on these big is. ass shoes and look look like the same as everyone yeah, else. Yeah, oh, everybody will tell me nice shoes when I walk down exactly. the hall. I mean, that's like kid shit, like, even it's that first Iversons came out, and I'm like, these are weird, dude. Yeah. People were rocking those Iversons, and I'm like, it's such a weird looking silhouette. Yeah. But I, but I tried to get them. Not, I just was turned off by basketball shoes as a whole. I, I would get them just because. Yeah. That's well, what that's what cool. I'm saying. That's the social aspect. And then it. finally, when I got into college, then that's when I switched to Air Maxes because I was like, okay, yeah. these are a little more like a fucking. And they did that too. Then that's what everybody kind of switched to Air Max. That was like popular. There was a lot yeah. of really cool shit that came out, but cool looking, you know what I mean? But then 
That got just as fucking ridiculous. And like furry shoes and fucking Skittle collab or whatever the fuck. I mean, there's not a Skittle collab. There probably is a Skittle collab, but I don't know it. The only way out of wearing Jordans in high school and shit was to be a skateboarder. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I mean? You wear skate shoes yeah. and kids wouldn't like fuck. Then Nike period. SB came out and then that was a whole nother. Which motherfuckers don't even want to talk about the fact that Nike just infiltrated skateboarding, a culture that it's not a part of. People don't want to have that fucking conversation. And that's why they whacked the fuck out because they didn't know. They didn't know their audience well enough to keep going. They had like P-Rides and a couple of other I did. And Air Force Ones I was into. I fucking always hated Air Force One. The goddamn midsole so like a that fucking thick. It shit looks yeah. so stupid. Well, God, thought, Air Force One is the worst shoe. Worst so, ironically shoot. enough, that was the only one oh, that, that I... Well, no, I that liked fucking it. sole was like the goddamn... Yeah, oh, I, I hated it. Right. I, and everybody's like, oh, Uptowns, you gotta get some white... Uh, you know Ooh. why they're called Uptowns? Because you go Uptown to get them. Man. <laughs> I mean, of course you know. Not many person different I don't think I've ever put them. on an Air Force One. Really? I don't think I've ever worn I gotta tell you, that, that to shoot, like when I could get a fresh, all-white Air Force, I felt like the yeah. man. I just can't stand that thick-ass, deep midsole. And then Nelly puts a song out, like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, okay. Done, yeah. son. You know, more of that. Never into Nelly either. Yeah, for the record. <laughs> In college, a dude I was friends with, we did drive around and smoke a lot of blunts, and he would listen to Nelly. My I sister didn't... likes Nelly. Don't quote me, but I think that's the biggest selling rap album of all time, Country Grammar. Oh, really? It was. How many band aids do you think he bought them on? Like, you think know. he just had them all, Maybe all the time? He got sponsored. Oh, he had to have gotten sponsored eventually. Look at that, if I had to live in a trailer park, that's one I'd live in. Look at that, you got the hills top, the fucking... Oh, shit. Shit is dope up there. Right. I mean, you're under those power lines, you're all getting cancer by 38, but other than that... 21 miles, dog. 21 Savage. Yeah. 21, 21, 21 miles, 21, 21, 21 miles. You get paid up in this casino. Yeah, about to double up, triple up, quadruple up, 5,000 on black. Damn. Let me get this money. Let me get this money. 17 black. Oh, Damn. now I got black jack. Oh, oh. Second occurrence of smoking is 500, your third 750. They come in, they're like, you're smoking, 250. You're like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> they come back later and you're like, what, 500? Yeah. 500 what? What? You know what, come back in an hour because I'm having another one. Line it up. <laughs> <Get his shit. laughs> yeah. I stepped in gum. Don't spit your fucking gum out on the street because some of us are out here flexing. West Virginia. It's weird here. It was a really easy night and gambled a little bit, lost money, then won it all back and came to bed. Earn went and played poker. I guess he won. He says he won, but all I know is I woke up and Earn had brought me breakfast. So, shout out to the breakfast plug. Pretty sure I had the worst dinner of my life last night here. Oh, well, that doesn't make me feel any better about the breakfast quality. Anyway, um, yeah, we're gonna get out, I gotta get in the shower, and we gotta head to Ohio, because uh, Randy and Haima are meeting us in Ohio. So, we gotta get there and get to the airport. The journey continues. We out this bitch. Gang, gang. Hey, they didn't try to clean the room uh, three hours early today. Yeah, it you know? was amazing. The water pressure was all right. The water pressure was okay, but I will say, the St. Regis, Still. The St. Regis is like putting on Ultra Boost for the first time. <coughs> That's hard to go back. And fucking everywhere else is like a middle of the mall Marshalls Nike. I can't, I can't do it. It's hard. Yeah. Oh my god, dude, she 
calls up here. Yeah, I know, because she won't let me do it. She's sitting there talking to me, and she's like, you're not on the thing. I'm filing. I'm like, I am paying for both of these rooms. I was like, you checked the wrong person into the wrong... You just checked me in to a room twice for no yeah. fucking reason, and you're not listening to me, and she keeps cutting me off. Did I'm you like, hear her call up? Yeah, I was like, because she's so like, go, she's she's like you him. need to go get him, and I was like, no, you can call him. I'm not going back upstairs. Well, and then, it was me, not him, so yeah. I was giving her hell. I'm going... My hotel owners, operators, front desk people are fucking morons, but uh, so I'm a little upset right now. Hyma's here. Ernie's downstairs dealing with the hotel people so that I don't beat the dog shit out of somebody in the lobby. All right, what happened? All right, so, no, I go down there and I'm telling them, I'm like, first of all, I said, this is the worst experience ever. I said, I'm still not checked in my room. It's been a half an hour. I said, I pull up, valet could give a shit. I said, there's four whatever the hell bellhop guy standing there while I'm pulling the car through the door. No one's helping me. So this is the worst. I said, if I want to get treated like this, I'll stay at a red roof inn. Yeah. And she was like, okay, sir, I understand. I'm like, no, you don't understand. I'm like, then we get checked in, we get double charged. And I'm just like spitting yeah. all the facts at her. And she's just like, you know what I'm talking about? I'm like, does anyone here? Like I'm looking at the two counter ladies, like yeah. someone speak up and yeah. be like, yes, I know what's going on. No one. And yeah. then like, the, and she was just like, okay, we're going to get it figured out. I'm like, we need to get it figured out. And yeah. I was like, my man's a YouTuber. He's got huge influence to Twitter and I, I didn't say sneakers, I go, we're travel vloggers yeah. and all we do is fucking travel and vlog about the places that we're staying at. Yeah. I'm like, it really isn't the best start. Yeah. Like, we like to stay in a nice place and I say, then we check in and we come in and I fuck is that? And yeah. then they're calling him down and he's got a switch. And then the girl like knew you were the boss and she goes, yeah, well, boss, all he was trying to do is check in and they're trying to charge him more and they're telling him he can't check in. He's checked in already. And then she's like, we're going to do sun phrase. She goes, can we have a meeting? I'm like, okay. I go, so you want me to go up there and the answer is merge your Marriott points and then we'll take care of you. I said, I think, and she goes, no, 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 we're gonna comp both the rooms for tonight. She goes, tell him to merge this with Marriott points and we'll make sure he gets all the points for the room. I was like, good. I was like, look, then we're cool. I'm like, we're friends. Yeah, Let's yeah. have a fresh start. Yeah, yeah. just wanna enjoy the stay. Nice. That's why you get yourself an Ernie. Cause I'd have been down there with the fucking Draco. <laughs> Dead ass. I was already ready. We're in Cleveland. I'm calmed the fuck down now. I'm not so angry. I was really angry 20 minutes ago. Now, Ernie fixed it, so I'm not mad. But we're about to dry these shirts. So this is the 3M stitch cross, embroidered, full embroidered. Go to the back real quick so you can see. This the 3M. Yeah. So that's the 3M one. We got a cream version. So cream embroidered, non 3M. Cream front, cream back, burgundy. Black, black on front. But those are online right now. It just dropped. I'm dropping it as the vlog goes live. So go now if you haven't gone already. They may already be gone. They're not cheap. They're not cheap to make. They're not cheap to produce. So not cheap to sell. But we do have more stuff coming very, very soon. If you want this stuff, go now. And we'll see you tomorrow at SneakerCon. Thank you.